Hi everybody, it's Ashton. Today I'm going to show you how I take this rough sketch of a clockwork dragonfly and turn it into a completed piece that you can buy at my store if you want to. So here you see I'm taking the sketch that I showed you just a minute ago in my sketchbook and I'm putting it on a piece of watercolor paper. This dragonfly is pretty detailed so I'm making sure to get all the little bits of it done with my mechanical pencil which is my favorite thing to draw and sketch with. And this is where I'm putting sort of a circuit board look on the wings. At, uh, right here that's what we see. So now I'm going to start inking it and I'm using these Eddings draw liners which I really need to do a review of. I got them on a whim when I was ordering some brushes and I think I really like them so I'll do a full review of those at some point. But I'm just going through and inking all the parts of the dragonfly. This dragonfly is part of a series of steampunk inspired insects that I've done. I've done a butterfly and a grasshopper as well. And I think dragonflies especially really look like little machines. If you've ever looked at them really closely, uh, it's, all insects sort of look like robots to me. And so it's not really much of a stretch for me to turn them into steampunk, or in this case, I'm calling this a clockwork dragonfly because as you'll see it has a clock on its back. There you go, there's the shot of the clock and so that's the finished inking job and the next thing I'm going to do is use watercolor pencils to color it in. And this is me trying to figure out what watercolor pencil is going to work the best for my concept of this dragonfly. So once I chose my colors, which um, I use Albert Durer watercolor pencils, I'm putting them in my sketchbook to make sure that the colors that I had picked are the colors that I really want. Because uh, with these pencils, the color of the barrel is not exactly indicative of what the actual color looks like. So the white square to the side is just an old spare tile from Tile in the Bathroom that I use as a palette for the watercolor pencils because it's really easy to just scribble on that tile and put down the, the uh, pigment from the watercolor pencils. So I have a lot of methods that I use with watercolor pencils right there, what you're seeing me do is my brush is wet and so I'm rubbing my brush on the end of the pencil and that's a way to get it uh, really intense the color. Sometimes I do color with the watercolor pencils and then use the paintbrush to activate the pigment and move it around but it just depends on how detailed I'm getting. Especially with these insects there's a lot of little bitty pieces So here you see I'm coloring directly on the watercolor paper and then I'm going to go in with my paintbrush and activate that pigment. And for some reason I cannot find the footage of the rest of the painting part of this. Uh, it's only this initial part where I'm doing its legs. So I don't know what happened to the rest of it. I will show the completed uh, bug at the end with all the colors in.
And here's the completed piece. As you can see, it's got a nice little purple and teal iridescent tail. I don't know what time that clock is saying. And it's got circuits with resistors for its wings. And I had a lot of fun creating this and thinking up the mechanics of how a dragonfly would be a clockwork dragonfly. And yeah, you can buy this in my Etsy shop if you would like. I will leave the link below. I want to say thanks to everyone that took the time to watch this. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see more, please subscribe, ring the bell for notification, and as always, don't forget to take a left. Bye.